So let's keep looking at these uh, critical questions for phosphorus. How about, or for um, inputs to plant growth, how about CO2? Um, what are the benefits of using CO2 and what are the optimum levels? To use another human analogy, we could say, what are the benefits of high oxygen for people? Well, there's tremendous benefits from high oxygen for people. Um, and the same thing with CO2, they reverse it because of the photosynthesis. Um, the equation for photosynthesis, if we put it up here, CO2 plus water, H2O, goes to carbohydrates and oxygen. I just love this equation. I say this is the most important equation in the world because two really low energy inputs result in two really high energy outputs. Well, if we get CO2 elevated, it makes photosynthesis go faster. And not just a little faster, all of our studies indicate about 30% higher yields from CO2 enrichment. And that's easily cost effective um, for cannabis. You can either have hot CO2, which is burning by combustion, or compressed gas, which we call cold CO2, um, to elevate the CO2. So the benefits are on increased photosynthesis and increased yield. How about the optimum levels of this? Let's see, let's put that, let's erase this, Put that up here. If we do CO2, ambient is about 400. And if we go to 2,000 out here, now these units are parts per million of CO2 in the air. And this is yield now on the y-axis. This line goes up real fast to 400 ppm. And, but it keeps going up to a thousand and then it's flat like this. So we recommend about a thousand ppm and oftentimes we'll make the set point 1200 ppm just to make sure that we um, have ample CO2, that we're never gonna run out. So right in this level between 1,000 and 1,200 is a sweet spot. Below, above that, you're just wasting CO2. Now, this CO2 comes from compressed gas. It's really, we collect it from the air and reuse it. So if you give them more CO2, it's not gonna pollute the atmosphere. It's just recycling CO2. Um, but it's a waste of CO2 to go above 1,200 ppm. This is, occurs with cannabis. This also occurs with other crops. To emphasize this, let's put a line here. Here's the yield at 400. Let's call that one. Here's the yield at 1,200. And this would be 1 1.3. There's a 30% increase in yield from elevated CO2. It's so cost effective, everybody should be using um, elevated too. It also closes stomates and reduces transpiration. So that's another value of elevated CO2.